How are you doing? Hallelujah. Amen. Namaste. So how's everything going? So today I'm going to give another reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam first cano. This first cano um, sums up a lot of things about the creation and how things started and who God is. You got to believe that, you know, if there's a God, you have to know who he is. Right? The first commandment is love thy God with all thy heart and soul. And if you read the old scriptures, right, if you read the Bible, Torah, other scriptures, they're always talking about them reading scriptures. So they had to be reading something. This predates all those scriptures, okay? This is the 10th cano. Um, let's go for the 10th cano. It just happened like that. All right, let's see what we got. So this is a good verse, actually. Good, good verse we got here. Um, it's 10th Cano, 1010, 31. You are the supreme personality of Godhead, the controller of everything, the body, life, ego, and senses of every living entity, and your own self. You are the supreme person, Vishnu, the imperishable controller. You are the time factor, the immediate cause. You are the material nature, consisting of the three modes of passion, goodness, and ignorance. You are the original cause's material manifestation. You are the super soul, and therefore, you know everything within the core of the heart of every living entity. O oh Lord, you exist before the creation. Therefore, who trapped by body of material quality in the material world can understand you? Who? Who can understand you? This is another thing. If you're trapped by this body, he's saying, right? If you're, if you're in this body, how can you understand the creation? Just like if you are all for yourself, right? How could you understand selflessness? Something like that. So it's the, it's, it's the understanding. If you're trapped in the body and material qualities in the material world, how can you understand you? This is what I've been saying recently that persons they're so trapped in their body they have sexuality they have it becomes their life becomes their sustenance they do everything for sexuality they throw their whole cards on sexuality they forget god this we've seen with our own eyes right before you everywhere is happening right now this is what's the problem of this creation right now everybody is bowing to sexuality before god they're, and what do they want for it? Gold. Money. They want to run loosely with money so they could command sexuality and they could have a premise thereof. So therefore, for some people, it becomes their life and soul. And this is why the good have to not just be good right now. You have to be extra good. You have to be so against the... the, uh, the, the the dis uncivilized you have to be so against people that are demonic right now that it's you should be infuriated at people that are are against human rights you should be infuriated at people who break laws that are are, are god's given laws this you have to be right now because the lo the world is in a problem right now because of this people have given up on being good they the good can hardly fight anymore. Even the truth can hardly stand up anymore. And one person stands up for the truth, that's not enough. I've tried. I've tried. I went against three major companies, the biggest. These guys are worth more than $2 trillion. Okay? And I hardly had, I maybe had a couple grand or something on my bank, honestly. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a little more back then. But not much money. Okay? And I went against them. I stood up for the truth because I knew the truth and I said, I'm going to go for the truth. But one person can't do it because what happens is one person tells another person and tells 10 persons and 10 persons tells 100 persons. And before you know it, those 100 persons say, we want it this way. He does, can't do that. So you have to be for the truth. You have to say, what is the truth? You have to be a slave of the truth because God ultimately is the truth. You understand here? This is the truth. This is what it really is. It's how you connect to God, by serving the truth. You understand? So you are the time factor, he says. You are the immediate cause, and you are the material nature, consisting of three modes of goodness, passion, and ignorance. 
You are the original cause of material manifestation. You are the super soul. Therefore, you know everything within the core of the heart of every living entity. So don't think that you can get away from God in your thoughts, right? So this is another thing with this surveillance thing. This is why it cannot be, because people are playing God. They're using phones. They're using devices, putting it in people, putting it in, in their, your phone, right? They can hear your, your thoughts. That should not be. That's, a, that's, a, that's something for God. That's something for the devotees of God and the, the people that have attained those mysticism. If God gives you somebody mysticism, it's because they have attained it. They deserve it, believe it or not. Now, we have to say, right, there should always be some regulation, but that's when you talk. That's when you have a trial. Human beings can talk. Don't ever think that people could say, "Oh, he did some. Someone did wrong. We need to run around and and hurt everyone." Like the like the the um the Salem witch trials. Never do that in this world. Never go on a witch hunt. What you have to do is simply just one thing: be strong in your prowess of good and truth. Stick with the truth, and you cannot fail, because the Lord has existed before the creation. Okay, and that was the truth. Before the creation, the Lord is situated as the truth. And then he made the truth expand into further truths, into liberations. And now everything is accordingly. Gravity is here. When you go up into space, gravity is not there. That is, that is them. That's their accord. They made that. You understand? Everything's made. The sun, the, everything is, is not, it's not just a manifest. As they try to present it like that. No, these are beings that made it. Okay? So be strong with that and go for the truth. Stand up because, as I said, right now, the truth needs you more than ever. God needs you more than ever. Because if he comes here, right, and he says, whoa, here, here I am. Everybody will say, oh, we want God. We want, okay, God, what do we do for this? What do we? And everybody would just come like, you know, uh, just come for, for, for favors. Nobody would do things out of love. No one would do things out of pure devotion. No one will do things out of their own goodness. They won't find their goodness. So you have to find your good. Life is about finding your goodness, finding your heart. If you don't do things for certain people, if you don't, if you know what I'm saying, if you say, I, oh, I can't serve that person because they're, they're this or that, or that person is a different race, or that person is too good looking, or she's, you know, she wants my job, or then you're not understanding things. You have to say, that the truth is what it is. And I'm just a servant of the truth. And whatever comes to me in that, I have to accept and I have to try to work it out. But we can't let the evil win over the truth and win over mercy and compassion for one another. When that happens, then we have more and more chaos. And we see this in our world daily, how things are becoming. So I'm going to go now in my book. And we're going to go to How Women Create. Talking about creation. Could be a gene miracle. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll have a little bit. Okay. Women then have triple negatives. Foundation orifices in the body are able to produce life with this same triangle distinction in the lower space functions. Both actions, the ending particles are pushing out and the, and the function of the middle also disposes. But mainly is functioning to import or incept. The urethra and the anus are set to push out mainly. The anus is larger thruster, and by this, this negative space context, the process of life is set, meant to breathe and cycle. Thus, the human body is a negative context by nature. It negates food by consuming and disposes of its negating, negating it once again. We don't take food and marvel at it or sustain by keeping it alive. We use it by consuming it and finding result in its nourishment. The lack of bowel movement is certainly a problematic strenuous disorder to the body's nature system. It also shows that the body is on a negative too. As it thrives, it needs to evacuate waste of energy, energy. The negation of the body internalized shedding. It seems like nothing, but actually it, can, it constitutes almost entirety of who we are. What we put in our bodies as, as it replaces. What we put before us bile and blood. The mounting results within. The rectum is so essential in this matter to allow the cycle of life in all respects as it functions through there. So, as I was saying right here, it says, it says you are the nature, right? It says you are the qualities of the material world. So this is almost like a Jesus' DNA miracle, once again, in a sense, because we're speaking about the Bhagavatam and then it went on to speak 
the physics of the world. You see how I'm doing that? That, that was done by God. Um, so God is trying to help this situation. He's, he's reassuring you that, that this is real. God is real. The faith is real. And what I'm saying is real. You can change your life if you do the right thing. You don't have to sit. You have to understand something. People have gone the wrong ways. What you have to say is that I need to learn from that. I need to sit down and study what I've done wrong. So I won't do it again. And I can learn what happened. What happened to me. Why I did it. What, what was it for. That will help you. Okay? And by this, I'm saying that also, this right here you see is that the world and the Lord is set. They set it on a negative axis that when you evacuate is when the body has air and it has the means to re-nourish yourself and do like that. So it was on a negative context, right? Where we're... we're by, we have to also negate. So in this world, we have to negate. We have to use our negation. We can't just want, want, accept, accept, accept. You also have to say, no, I can't take that because it's bad. I have to negate. You have to use your negation tools, okay? This is a very serious thing in your life. It'll save you from hell. If you go down, keep going on the paths of greed, lust, and anger, eventually you're going to end up in hell. That's what it stated. People have gone that far. They've kept going. Oh, I, I, I'm envious of that person. Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate her. Oh, uh, and they just kept going and going. And then they start hurting people. And they start killing. And they start stealing. And run. before you know it, that's it. You're taken out of your body. They take your, your subtle body, your soul, you know, this, your mind and all that. The eyesight, everything. They, that comes. That comes out of you. And you're taken. And you go before Yom. Death, and they say, this is what you did. And we have to punish you now. Because you caused so much suffering to others. So don't be that person. Be a fair person. Be honest. Everybody is dying here. Everybody is, is growing old. You cannot stop that. But what you can do is you yourself can say, I will serve God today. I will do the right thing. Because this is the negative space, right? The negative space contest is the process of life. So the, how the woman creates is like this. So she is using her, 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 um, her, you know, her, her ability to create. Why these orifices are prime in the body's daily functions, as we describe them, the engine of the body. The body thus thrives on urges of the lower orifices, but being the engine. The lower orifices are like the engine of the body. You understand? The bowel is part of the engine, and then... The way it evacuates is the system of the engine. And the way it brings in is how life comes in. So some are driven on sex drive. This is understood from previous scientific ex explaining in text fully the attempt here, which is the famous Bible Gideon doctrine of the Eastern culture accepted by theologians to hold scientific value, reference to being valued by theologians. So, the word, it says there that this world is driven by sex drive. Now, that's, he's, he's always a great thing, but no. Actually, he's saying it's the old devouring enemy, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says. Lust is the old devouring enemy. So, because why? And you get lusty, and then you're, you're enjoying with somebody, and then it becomes, starts to become stale, and then you want something else, and then, you know, next thing you know, you're fighting. Rah, rah, you know, you did this. You made me miserable. You took all my energy, and oh, you know, I enjoyed a little bit, but then I kept going. And I'm not blaming myself because I'm an illusion. So you have to stop that. And say, listen, I'm going to control myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subdue lust. It's hard, but I'm going to control. And then I'm going to worship God. And I'm going to worship truth. And I'm going to set aside my love and energy for God and truth. Because if I just worship sex, if I just worship a pretty face, and just tend towards this, um, you know, taking shelter in the, in the lap of Maya, it's called, you know, that I'm in, oh, I'm sitting in Maya, in the illusion of this body, this person's body, and I'm so snug in love, and we're sharing our, 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 our heart energy, and oh, but then this dwindles, and it gets older and older and crankier, and it has reactions, that's what, that's what it's saying there, the Bhagavad Gita has reactions, so you have to deal with reactions, you become miserable, eventually you become envious, 
When you go fall into your misery, then you become envious. Oh, what might they have? Oh, I, sh I should have more. Oh, I want that girl. Oh, you know, I want that job. Like that. And it keeps going and keeps going. And, you know, even people that have everything, they still want something else. It's craziness. They don't even say, okay, I have everything already. Let me just try to develop myself. No, I want what they have. And if I kill them, oh, somehow or other, I'm going to be them. People have lived like this. Very, very disgusting. Horrible, horrible people. Wretched. And they have to realize how wretched they are. And stop. You don't have to keep being wretched. Nobody says you have to keep being wretched. Just stop bothering others. Stop trying to destroy others. And work on yourself. The more you work on yourself, the more you have a chance at being a divine person. And that is everything. If you think about it, that's everything. Because you're here on a divine note. You're surrounded by elements, nature, gods. People that are bringing in storms. People that are bringing... You can even hear them. You can hear, I can, you can hear this giant bodies and, and their planes are moving around in thunderstorms. Sometimes you can hear it. It has to be. That sounds like a plane, but it's not. It's a thunderstorm. That's a giant body moving around. So you have to say that I'm surrounded by these beings that are maintaining me. But they're not the supreme God yet. There is even somebody above that. There's an origin of them, and that is God himself. And then we can surrender to him, and everything will become in place. And these nature gods will love us for it. Because he's the source, the son of Bonum. Okay? So I hope you understand now. And you got something from this. That, you know, we're on a negative platform, and the better... The better we are understanding that, and the better we are conformed to it, the better off the better off we are. That is the truth. If we if we go towards evil, if we go towards harming others, if we go towards mischievous conduct, if we go towards all these these decrepit things, we're going to end up miserable, harmed, and on our way to, to real suffering in hell or or, or or real bad karma here too. So, God bless. Namaste Hare Krishna. Hallelujah.